guys, uh, this is War, and welcome back. In this video, uh, you will learn how to solve uh, a system equation by using elimination uh, technique. Uh, what we have here today, we have 2x plus y equal 4, 5x plus 3y equal 11. So what different here, as we have before, when you have a single equation or you have one equation, let's say the one on the top, if you have a 2x plus 3 plus y, let's say, equal 4. This is a single equation. And if they ask you the question to solve this or simplify the, the equation, what they're going to ask you is to solve for, you know, solve for, you will solve for x or y. Let's say y. So the question will ask you solve for y or x. Because you have two variables are missing, there's no way you can find them at the same time. So they're going to ask you to use uh, to solve for one of these variables. It can be x or it can be y. So the question will ask you solve for solve for what? For x, for example. But in what I, I have today, we have two equation, system equation, that require you to find value of x and value of y. So that means we are missing the two variables, x and y. And the way we solve it, we make one of these to equal to zero the first time. And how we get to make them to be zero if x or y is to make them to be the same, like the same. Let's say if I have four y, the second one have to be four y. And two one of those two y has to be minus. Why? Because when you add two number with a different sign. 1 is minus and 1 are uh, uh, positive, and they have the same sign, you get, get, uh, you're going to get a 0. And that's what we, we look today, and you will learn how to do it. So if you take a look at what we have, I have here today, we have five, uh, 2x plus y equal 4, 5x plus 3y equal 11. If I want to make these two equations to be equal and then they are different with a minus. What we can do, what is the number between 5 and 2? What is the common number between 5 and 2? It's 10. So, if the 10 is a number between, or the number, a common number between 5 and 2, that means the first equation will, uh, we multiply by 5, and the last equation multiply by 2. And to make them different, the first equation has to be minus 5 have to be multiplied by minus 5. And the reason we want to make the first one to be a minus. The second equation, we multiply by 2 for the whole equation. As you can see, when you multiply minus 5 to the whole equation, you want to get all this to be a minus. 
So the first equation, the whole answer will be a minus, and the last one will be a positive. So let's do it. Because we have a small board, so we're going to use whatever we have there. So we say this one is multiplied minus 5, and the last one would be multiplied with two by 2. If we do that, we will have, have it that a new equation will equal to minus 10x. So, because so it will be minus 10x minus 5y. Equal twenty. If equal minus twenty. And the last or second equation will equal ten uh, x plus six y. equal 22. So let's go uh, see it again what we done. Minus 5 times 2 is minus 10x. Minus 5 times y equal uh, minus 5y. Five five, minus 5 times 4 equal minus 10, 20. The last equation will equal 2 times uh, 5x equal 10 plus uh, 2 times 6y, uh, 3y equal 6 uh, equal 2 times 11 is 22. Now we want to find the value of one of these. So 10x will go with 10x, we got 0, and minus 5y uh, plus 6y, you got y, and 20, minus 20 plus 22, you got 2. So, the new equation or new for uh, simplify we just simplify now we know that y equal two so we know y now equal two what we're going to do we substitute two uh, y by 2. So we can pick up the first equation to find the value. So we know now the y equal 2. So the equation will equal 2x plus 2 equal 4. Now, you can add, you add 2 to the both side of the equation. And as we equal 2x plus 2, so this one will be minus. We're going to add minus 2, so it will be minus 2. Oh, we subtract, we're not adding, sorry. We're adding, we, we're subtracting uh, on, the, uh, on the both sides of the equation. We subtract, I'm sorry, so it will be minus 2 equal 
minus 2. So x 2x equal 2. That's mean x equal 1. So our answer should be so the answer should be x equal 1, y equal 2. And that's how you find by elimination. So this is how you do it. Uh, if you have a question, let me know. Thank you.